Our understanding of earthquakes comes from expensive equipment buried deep underground. This bunker contains some of the most sensitive seismic equipment on the globe. If there was a magnitude 5 earthquake on the other side of the planet, this would see it. The problem is, even here in San Francisco, where hundreds of thousands of people live directly on the San Andreas Fault Zone, the current sensor network isn't good enough to send reliable warnings out to the public. Building thousands more seismometer stations at about $80,000 each isn't really feasible. But luckily for Californians, a much cheaper solution might just be around the corner. Dr. Elizabeth Cochran is an LA-based geophysicist who's passionate about teaching earthquake science to her local community. So we're going to try and demonstrate our different kinds of waves. She's figured out a way to use a cheap $40 seismometer to transform a regular laptop into an earthquake monitoring station. Here we have a sensor and it's actually connected into the laptop just by USB port. Anytime I move the sensor, uh, it sends the information into the laptop and we can see the readout here on the screen. We're actually using these sensors to record uh, moderate to large earthquakes here in California and actually around the world. But Elizabeth's real breakthrough is to recruit a network of thousands of volunteers to host these sensors. All they need to do is plug them into their laptops, tape them down, and then they'll start sending vital earthquake data to a central computer for analysis. But this, this is so tiny. I mean, how, how does this compare to your professional equipment? So this is quite a bit less sensitive, but it has some benefits. They're pretty, pretty low cost, and we can have them, say, in every block or in every house. How does this become part of an early warning network, then? What these sensors do is they fill in between our, our large network sensors, and we can get more, more records faster and get the location and the magnitude much more accurately. Every additional piece of information we have will allow us to have longer warning times. Already, Elizabeth's recruited over 2,000 citizen scientists. One day, she hopes to have sensor networks on every block in Los Angeles and across every fault zone in the world. But I think the real significance of what she's achieved goes beyond earthquakes. This might be small, but I think it opens up a new era in science, when research isn't confined to universities and expensive laboratories, but it's something that we can all take part in. It opens up scientific discovery to everybody.